The Power Grip, known for its ability to climb while falling. A Game Pass, a meta back in the days. Mostly used by the top players back then. A very useful gear for Gamps. Climbing its way to the top. Dominating the game, until Grappler came, which led to the downfall of Power Grip Gauntlet. Starting in 2017, as far as I know, players are limited to only one left arm gear, Magro, alongside gloves. Due to the lack of gears, the Power Grip Gauntlet, created on December 17, 2017. A game pass that is purchasable for 450 Robux. A simple gear, with 50% increased wall running distance, with the ability to wall climb even while falling. Useful for running, a lifesaver for runs which gave its title as the meta of the game. A year has passed, players have now started to master power grip, ultimately leading to the mastery of the game. With players crossing huge gaps, top players outperforming each other, ledge grabs, and more. To most people, these days are considered to be the golden age for parkour. The power grip became an essential gear if you want to parkour around freely. With proper understanding of the mechanics, and complete mastery of the game, the top players are given an elite tracer badge. This badge is only obtainable if you are one of the best players out there. The description says it all. Congratulations! You are one of the very few individuals that Hudsel has deemed skilled enough at parkour to own this badge. However, this badge is no longer obtainable today. But still, the only way to obtain this badge is by the owner thinking that you are skilled enough to obtain this badge. Nothing more nothing less. With the new rank matchmaking system that has an elite rank in it. The old elite badge has been repurposed and renamed to veteran elite to avoid confusion. Going back, players made any possible way to prove that they are skilled to own this badge. A few examples are the final challenge, ledge grab consistency, 12x consistent combos, and many more. If you don't know what a ledge grab is, it is a way to reset ammo, or wall runs and wall boosts, without touching the ground. To ledge grab, you must be perfectly aligned to the ledge of a building or a prop to land and ledge grab, without touching the ground. If the player is not aligned properly, then it will lead to touching the ground. Although ledge grabbing looks like it's touching the ground, the game's code thinks you did not touch the ground. Now imagine ledge grabbing consistently on a run. Yeah, that's how hard it is. Up until this day, ledge grabbing now became a skill. Power grip makes ledge grabbing easier, as it saves runs when a fail happens. Ledge grabbing, hard gaps, hard tricks, you call it. The final challenge, elites, and the rest, is history. It's the year 2019. The power grip's price dropped from 450 to 440 due to a Robux change, and Hudsel had to change the price for it to be $5 accurate. Not much has changed in the meta. Power grip still reigns its throne. You can see a steady rise in the amount of players using power grip. Not many controversial updates changed the game. Most of them were bug fixes for a stable and fun experience. Every popular game comes with a spike in popularity. Much like Power Grip, we see a spike in players using this gear, but we all know that every uprise, tends to lead to a downfall. The main reason why Power Grip lost its throne is because of a gear, a certain gear on which you guys are very familiar with. August 2019, Grappler was created. A revolutionary gear which changed the game's meta. But on the Grappler's first days, the community didn't see the Grappler's opportunity. Players decided to stick with the power grip since they have full understanding of the gear. Not many players liked Grappler due to its difficulty, hence players stayed with power grip. Little did they know, a certain discovery of Grappler changed the game. Fall cancelling. The community decided to give Grappler a second chance, analyzing the comparison between the two gears. Players found out that Grappler might be able to replace power grip. Both gears are a lifesaver, but Grappler is far better. Because of Grappler, Power Grip went to a downfall. Only a few people are using Power Grip. If you are new to the game, the Power Grip is recommended for you. While progressing and understanding the game, switch to Grappler. While Power Grip is on its fall, there are a lot of reworks and changes on Power Grip, mainly buffs. The price has been lowered even more. Although I don't know the exact price, but it was lowered. Drop Down has been buffed and a few changes for the gear. The power grip is beginner friendly while grappler is not. The grappler is far better while power grip is not. 
losing its throne and will forever be missed, as the very first, revolutionary gear. Fast forward to 2020, Wall Run Dashing was created. On its first days, Wall Run Dashing is heavily reliant on Grappler, so Power Grip won't have the benefit of dashing, thus pushing it even farther down. You rarely find someone using Power Grip. The top players are now using Grappler. The Power Grip vs Grappler debate has ended, a sad day for Power Grip. 2021, to lighten up the mood, the gear had more buffs. You can now wall run and wall run dash in any given direction, up or down. And the price has been lowered to a staggering 250 Robux. Up until this day, more mechanics were added. The dashing era came, ranked matchmaking, but the power grip remained the same. All of the game pass gears are now unlockable on a set level except power grip. To new players, they might think that the power grip is just a useless gear. To OG players, the power grip is the best. Although most of them have switched to grappler, they'll most likely remember power grip as the best, the meta, the revolutionary, a gear that they first mastered and enjoyed. Time sure flies very quickly, so it's best to enjoy every single moment time has to offer. And that wraps up this video. Have fun dashing, flying, and running. My name is Top Secret, thanks for watching.